here we are, late in April, the election in South Africa just a couple of weeks away and everyone, as ever, wondering and hoping and claiming and demanding and complaining and all of those things that always happen before an election, as we always know. Well, it's also time for us to be looking at the month ahead for May and of course that means we do need to wonder a little bit about that election and what to expect here in South Africa in the month ahead. So, of course, being an astrologer, everyone is always saying to me things like, what does your crystal ball show for what's going to happen in the elections and in the month ahead? So I'm just going to take a moment to remind us all that astrologers, of course, don't use crystal balls and actually don't have any special psychic kind of gifts or divinations of those kinds of things. And we rely on a method that is really looking at patterns and cycles and how things unfold. We see them sometimes as karmic or sometimes just as natural cycles. But whatever they are, it means we always have to calculate a whole bunch of special charts that are all based on the movements of planets and so on in order to measure time and measure cycles the way that we do. And of course, when we are looking at something as complicated as an election, there is way too much information. For an ordinary human being, you're one person with one birth and with one chart that you can always look at your particular unfolding patterns. With um, people like a president or parties like the ANC, we can also see a certain amount of birth as well for such a thing as a party because of course it did start on a particular day. Um, so we can see certain cycles related to those and so some of what I'll say when I just have a few thoughts about the election ahead come from having a look at charts related to the major parties, to the president and of course we still do have a chart for the country. When it comes to looking at the unfolding of different dispensations and so on of a country, what we can do is look at some of the bigger, well-known to astrologers types of cycles, the most familiar of which is the 29-year cycle. We ourselves have a 29-year cycle and we can see very clearly that many countries, um, especially the younger countries as it were, also show 29-year cycles in their history and in their recent history. And South Africa is actually an example of those, um, one of its recent 29-year cycles that we can see. The old republic, the apartheid republic of South Africa was established in 1961 and after about 29 years is when that republic began to dismantle itself. That was when, of course, the ANC and, um, was unbanned as the other organizations were, Mandela and other prisoners were released and gradually the process of dismantling the apartheid state began. And so that was South Africa's Saturn return, as it's called. And so every 29 years we see significant shifts then. South Africa was 29 years in around 1990 and was having a Saturn return, a great big shift happens in around that time. We can see from there that it was the beginning of a slow shift that still took a couple of years to unfold, which is normally how things happen. Well, that was 1990, and now we are 29 years away from 1990. So once again, we are coming up for another Saturn cycle of the events of 1990. It turns out, of course, those things are not, are not exactly um, 29 years long. They're measured by planetary cycles, not by our solar years. And so this one will be a little bit longer than exactly 29 years. And it's only late this year, um, even towards next year, that we can see the completion of another 29-year cycle. But that does mean that we are in a year that is laying the foundations for changes that come over the the months and years ahead. So this is the beginning of another big change, not necessarily the scale of what we saw in 90 to 94, obviously not, but certainly of another big shift. So what, how does that relate to the election and what does that relate to the election? Well, when we look at the election itself, we can see, in terms of results, astrologers not being psychics cannot list results. Astrologers have only ever been able to see kind of who wins and uh, 
that's not really such a mystery most of the time in this country. And once again, not surprisingly, the ANC is set to win this election. Um, we know that logically, politically, and certainly astrologically, there's no reason to think any different. In fact, from the chart's point of view, the ANC does well. It does better than many in the country expect it to do, but it doesn't do as well as they themselves expect to do. That is a pattern we find in the other major party um, parties as well, the DA and the EFF, the three who are given the three major seats, all have a pattern which is not surprising. They all do better than a lot of people expect, um, but not as well as they themselves expect. Well, the DA might be a bit of an exception to that. It looks very, uh, could go any way in many situations for the DA. So I think they're going to be on their toes throughout this election as they watch the uh, results happen. And they probably are not doing as well as they think they're going to do. I'm not sure what everyone else thinks they're going to do, but that's how it looks from the chart. That's a very, the most unstable area of the whole election is the official opposition and so that means them and that's where we'll see the most significant changes but in the long term it still doesn't look so well for the ANC and it seems that this might be the last election they win outright or win at all um, because it looks like by the time of the next election we are finally able to make some big changes because we're always saying we're ready for change. I mean, everyone says that at an election. Well, I think that's what the next election is going to be about. 2024 will really be the election about change. And we are still kind of pushing to that event. So clearly we are on a tipping point towards there. And this election seems to be about just an adjustment of everybody's relative power hopefully to get them enough on their toes to hopefully start instituting some of those changes by will and by good policies. But one way or another, it is slowly moving towards a bigger change of 2024. That's where we'll see the biggest changes of all. It does look, as I've said frequently through this year, things still don't look good for the president, or that could be both to his personal um, kind of political safety, should I say, as well as his promises to the country. It doesn't look majorly different to me after the election as before the election as to his ability to affect policies or whether those policies actually happen at all. So it, it doesn't seem as if this election is really ushering in major changes of the kind South Africans might be wishing for one way and the other. Election day itself, well, it's hard just to talk about a day in astrology because there are so many of them. And as I've just said, it's not necessarily the most instrumental day of the year. It does look, as we expect, full of tension and excitement um, and full of surprises. And, you know, all I can really say, since that sounds like most elections, is that they picked a good day to have an election. There's enough winds of excitement and change to make some of the changes, maybe to give us some of the steam that we need to once and for all turn things completely around by 2024. In the month ahead for Aries, things are beginning to look up a little bit. It has been a challenging time for you, but it certainly looks like things are beginning to stabilize on the one hand and even make a little bit of progress for you. It finally seems as if there are others that are acting supportively and coming to your assistance or maybe just providing some of the resources that you need to make this time work better for you. Actually, you need to do a little bit more than that. It's time to kind of stake your ground, stand your ground, maybe even assert yourself. But what you do need to watch out for is getting into verbal arguments or in fact any kind of conflicts at all. You do need to sort things out and be confrontational. You just don't need to fight about it. Still, don't let anyone walk all over you at this point. It's just not time. You are clearing out the bad vibes of the last few weeks and moving ahead in a much more useful, constructive and beneficial way. This is the time to really think about who is your friend? Where does the love really come from? Because this is a great time to be receiving the love of friends and people who you've known and who've loved you for a very long time. That's where your support system lies. Draw on it this particular month.
For Taurus, things are looking quite exciting at the moment, but firstly, you do need to wait until after your birthday, until you kick any plans into action. And also, this seems to be a time of an overlap between things that have recently finished and things that are starting or that you're trying to get underway in some way. So don't be in too much of a rush to, to make things happen because that looks like a challenge for you. Don't rush about anything at this time. Still, doesn't mean you're sitting there feeling bored or frustrated. Things look like they're really happening, especially in your professional life or any other goals that are important to you. It may also be that anywhere where you have to make an impact or be seen by others, where you know you actually are at your best in the world, this is one of those months for you where you can take advantage of that. If you need to speak up and step up and be seen, this is a great time to make it happen. But it looks like they're looking at you anyway. So this is a time to put things forward, make things known, and kind of take advantage of what's going on. There can be too much of a good thing. And one thing that is warned about in your chart this particular month is overdoing things. It's your birthday, you're allowed a little bit of overdoing, but too much of a good thing is usually a bad thing. Draw the line and it's a great month. Gemini, it's not your birthday month, but it may very well be feeling like it, especially in the first part of the month ahead, into very early May, because it's going to seem like things are really working well for you and things are pretty exciting. Could also be some new stuff on the go, some new things happening for you. That's something to get going because it is going to slow down a little bit. Because you are actually approaching your birthday, you do need to like wind down the period before our birthday in astrology we see as a kind of an end of an old personal cycle. So that's definitely time to pay attention to wrapping things up, especially because in your typical Gemini way, you seem to be trying to do absolutely everything. And why this isn't such a great time for this is because you are not being seen by whoever needs to be seen. In other words, it's either not appreciated or if you're trying to draw attention of some kind, it's actually not the best time to be doing that. So rather concentrate on that as a strategy for in four to six weeks time when you'll be able to draw attention to what you're doing. In the meantime now, rather build those goals. It is a good time for personal goals, for personal life, for relationships. You can put your energy into those kind of things and then as the, as the month goes on, you can shift back to dealing with what needs to be done for the next goals to unfold. Cancerians, looks like you might be in a bit of a holding pattern for a while. This is not the time to act. It's not the time to anything. In fact, you're probably going to have to deal with some old stuff. It usually means, unfortunately, some expenses or um, things that are kind of have, have fallen due in some way. So, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. That's just um, tidying up loose ends for you, and you're good at that. So this is a time to tidy up loose ends, finish unfinished business, and then you'll be in the swing and in the vibe and it won't feel like such a frustrating time. It also looks like it is a good time for money. It doesn't mean you're going to increase your wealth because your expenses look like to be increasing just as much as the money itself seems to be increasing. But nevertheless, if you can find a strategy for investing, for building, for saving some of that money, this is going to be a beneficial seed planting kind of time for you. Work is also not so great at the moment. You might find that um, you're getting less of it or it's just not getting appreciated in some way. As I said, holding pattern. Don't take it personally and most importantly, don't imagine that you're doing anything wrong or that something's gone wrong. When in doubt, look for a loose end to wrap up. Get to next month, you're going to be cool. Leos will find that this is a month all about people. It's your friends, it's your loved ones, it's your acquaintances and your colleagues. Which sounds like you're going to need to find some time to get away and just make sure you get time on your own, time to do your own thing at the very least. And maybe just time out there having fun. Leos are, you know, notoriously fun-loving. And, well, certainly you can have fun with people, and friends is a great way for you to be doing that right now. But this is also a great opportunity to be exploring something quite personal, your own ideas, 
in some way because it seems as if the challenge for you in the month ahead is about getting some time and space to do what it feels like you really need to do. I'll be frank with you from the beginning, you're not going to get to nearly as much of that as you'd like to. So you could also make it a challenge this month to um, whittle down, narrow down some of the not so big ideals at the moment, some of the goals and some of the intentions, just to make sure that you don't stress yourself out by worrying that you don't have time to do what you want to do because you keep finding yourself dealing with people stuff. Minimize what you're doing for yourself. Things will be easier to pick up in a couple of weeks time. Virgo, if you play your cards right, you can make all the different departments of life work pretty well. But in reality, you could also end up trying to juggle too many things at the same time. So let's talk a little bit about priorities for you. Certainly, goals, whether they are professional goals or personal goals that are about you and that come from you, those are the ones to be focusing on at this time. Your own planet Mercury needs to uh, exercise the kind of space that it's got right now to be a little bit selfish because Mercury and Virgos are too easily caught up into doing what everyone else seems to require of you or what you feel like you want to help them do. So that's why this is one that's about you. In terms of your own stuff though, apart from goals, your chart is really talking about home and domestic matters at this time. It's kind of time to clean up and clear up house. Get those roots in order and kind of clear out what you've been dragging along that you wish you could have cleared out ages ago. Now's the time to just go for it and make your space back into your own space. Could be more prosaic for some Virgos. That could just mean the time for chores around the house or some money is going to be spent on the house that would still be worthwhile. It's all about getting it back in order. You'll start from a strong position after that. For Librans, it just get, keeps on getting better. It looks as if things might have improved lately anyway, and there's no sign of that improvement abating. Although it is important to note that there still will be some changes. You're not on an endless roll from this these last few weeks where everything just continues. It does mean there's an adjustment or two that you need to make changing some plan with respect to work or goal or some direction, making an adjustment and maybe even seemingly having to make a concession. But it's all good because it really does look like your plans are continuing to sail ahead. Especially where goals or, uh, are related to um, either creative things, your own ideas or things that have kind of been close to your heart much of your life, whether that's to do with your professional life or not. So it's that level of personal stuff that really goes to go, gets to go forward, as do your relationships, but all of which requiring a little bit of an adjustment to circumstances changing outside of you. As long as you do, do that, you're going to be fine. For the rest of it, keep an even kill. That's your natural way to do things. Keep things in balance. Don't overdo, overreact. That's how you'll manage to navigate this rather good time that you still have ahead of you. Scorpios might be feeling a little bit trapped or painted into a corner this month. If it's the latter, it might even mean you've painted yourself into a corner. But whichever the case may be, it's actually necessary to stop and strategize, think and regroup before you start lashing out or trying to do anything about it. Because it doesn't really look like there's that much you can do about it at this time. It's not everything in your life that's going to work that way. You'll be able to identify which aspect of your life seems to fit into that at the moment. And it's for that aspect that I'm saying there, there's nothing that you can do. But there certainly are other areas where you can steam ahead. Some of which might even be the most arduous or difficult things you have to face right now. So this is a great opportunity to kind of put your shoulder to the wheel and do the stuff that takes the most effort. But in any event, and maybe even especially in this case, that is also then a good time to be checking on health matters, taking care of yourself, especially when feeling painted into a corner or feeling frustrated. It looks like it's time to deal with some of the neglect or just really attend to some things that have been niggling at you and get your health back to where you need it to be. Sagittarius has a great month ahead for your personal life. 
it looks like your relationship is really thriving at this time and there's a lot that you can do to make it thrive even more this is a good time for indulging yourselves and focusing on the fun the pleasurable the many reasons why you've come together especially those that were at the beginning even if that was a long time ago this is a good time to organize some date nights to do some fun things together some pleasurable things together and like that um, re-establish some of the original connection that you have with your partner because it really looks like this is a great investment in your relationship during the month of May and the relationships are also going to work well so if you need to establish business relationships or if there's an existing relationship, a business relationship that requires attention, it's also going to benefit from applying a little energy to it. That's not going to be the fun and pleasure energy, but it does just mean engage with the other person in a more direct, personal way. Things will work better. For those of you who are not in any relationship or who are looking to get involved in a business partnership or both, of course, this is the time to do it. It's about one-to-ones with other people are what's really going to work for you during May. Capricorns, it looks like something is beginning to slowly take shape for you. This could be an ideal that you've been working on for a very long time or even something that's a lot shorter than that. But certainly it's becoming reality. It's possible that over the course of the next month some of those types of things actually do become real but it could also take up to another three to four months still it relates also to things that you might be expecting to finally manifest if something is slowly paying off or is finally showing the goods existing things will actually come to fruition in that way at this time some capricorns could even be coming into money soon even if as a typical capricorn that's probably your own money that you invested some time back it could be something that's paid to you that you might not have remembered or expected to be paid to you it's also a good time that you will benefit from your partner's resources and they will benefit from yours that doesn't necessarily mean money but if it does well there's a good place for investment in each other at this time but most importantly this is a time where growth through your connections with others is what you can expect to happen in your life so invest some of your energy in your relationships same goes for you Aquarians as your next door neighbor signs the Aquarians it is a time where you benefit from other people and your connection with them but actually you're going to find it quite an easy month to do that as it is as an Aquarian it is natural for you to engage with people and to be able to see shared resources and how you know people naturally work in groups or teams or how we can have a common goal or common direction that stuff's very Aquarian so it's not so difficult then to see how right now you can also benefit from all those connections you have around you it does seem though as I've said and as the typical Aquarian thing that your benefit seems to be able to benefit other people's as well Great time for travel, Aquarians. So this could also mean you might be sleeping on a few couches or connecting with people that you haven't seen for quite some time. It's a great time for friends and friendships that are far away. Not only friends and friendships, other people that are far away. So if you, if whether you know, it's business or something else that you need to make a connection to far away or you're expecting something or someone to come from far away, especially something, especially if it's money, well, this is probably the time when that's finally going to show itself. So like, get that venture capital in to whether it's you or your business program. Pisces also has one of those kind of uh, don't go ahead kind of months. Not that anything bad is going to happen, but it just looks like it's a time that it's not going to be as easy as it seems to make any progress. It doesn't mean no progress. It just means adjust yourself to what's really going on. The, the progress you thought might need a different approach as the month goes on and certainly by later in the month. So could also be good to get a lot of those plans in action early on in the month to make sure they actually unfold the way that you would like them to happen. Otherwise, second half of the month, 
be ready to adjust some plans, change some things, things then, then will work better for you. It looks like it's a great time to get the benefits from your personal life and from your relationships and that's where a lot of the joy lies this month. Although, if you're in any kind of a business partnership, that's also a place that's going to benefit and could even be a time of financial benefit in terms of partnerships or anywhere else where you've kind of thrown in your lot with somebody else. Still, the most important goals right now, as ever, are the personal goals because the personal goals are the ones that are going to need some adjustment so that they're going to work better next month and in the months after that. So now's the time to start making those adjustments. Well, of course, our own stuff in the end is probably more important than the than the election stuff. But anyway, don't forget to vote. Enjoy the day, enjoy the ride, um, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you next week.